Am I the arsehole for telling my stepson he can't stay in the house? My stepson, age 24, is getting kicked out of his apartment because he doesn't want to pay rent anymore. His roommate found another tenant and asked him to leave. <laughs> he asked if he could move in with me and his mom, and I said no. Some background. I love a little bit where we come back in backstory and yeah, I love that. Some background. Bam to the bam with the rewind. He's a 24-year-old college graduate who works part-time when he decides to work. I helped pay for his expenses while he attended college and I feel like with him being 24, it's time to man up. By the way, I hate that phrase, but anyway, that's verbatim. It's time to man up and at least attempt to provide for yourself. Me not allowing him to live in my home means he would have to move from Miami to Illinois to live with his dad. He insists that he doesn't want to move, but he also refuses to get a job. Me and his mother try to explain that you have to work in order to get what you want. We've sent him job postings and I wrote his resume. I even added a little fluff to the resume to help him get interviews. He would get interviews, in some cases, make it to drug testing. What oh, fucking fuck? But would forget to take his drug tests. So needless to say, I'm done trying. So I thought. Um, fast forward to this week. He calls with his sob story about, kicking, about getting kicked out for non-payment. I tell him he can't stay in my house because he refuses to work. I can't imagine working 10 to 12 hours a day while a healthy college educated man sleeps till one, parties all night, on my dime. That sounds S glorious. Indeed. 11 o'clock they get up in the morning. Can you imagine such a thing? Um, so because I care about him, I offered to buy him a plane ticket back to Illinois. He refused because he doesn't want to leave his car. According to him, he's put too much money in the car and he doesn't want to leave his belongings. Well, that's easy. Take the money out of the car. In it's right, not in the car anymore. anymore. Simple. Okay. I offer to rent him an, a U-Haul truck with a trailer as a one-way rental. He refused, saying he doesn't want to drive. According to him, the only option is to live with us. At this point, I'm done. <laughs> so I flat out say no. Sorry, guys. Just Get back to Illinois you. the best way you can. Am I the arsehole? Get a job. Pay the rent. Be an adult. Yeah. At this point, he doesn't want to pay rent anymore. I am judging. Good. That is your role here. I know. Okay, but he could pay rent, right? Like, that is an option. Kind of the only option. You're not the character in a Jonathan Larson musical. Well, no one wants to pay... No one can pay rent in that fucking musical. But who would? It's a terrible musical. Um... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is pretty simple here. If you want to stay, stepson... You have to Get pay. a job and pay some rent. My friend's got a Because if you can't pay... They'll take it away. Controversial opinion, but I think the son is the asshole. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> the first line of this, he's getting kicked out of his apartment because he doesn't want to pay the rent anymore. It's like, I've been living here for a while and it's cost me 500 bucks a month. It's just costing me too much money. I don't want to pay it. I'm not, I just don't want... This rent thing, major drain on my finances. Yeah, if I, did, if I could not pay it, not it and still live here. It's a bit like, it's like I want this KFC extra value meal and it's going to cost me six dollars but can i just I would have like it? to have it for, for free? free can we do that can we do that one time i met a tramp in burger king in charing cross station who was posing as a big issue seller and he said can i sell you the big issue and i said thinking this guy is not a legitimate big issue he seller hasn't got a badge. he hasn't got a badge he's not in his spot he's standing next to my table in burger king he said do you want to pack do you want to buy the big issue and i said yes and I slid two pounds across. I said, how much is it? And he went, uh, two pounds. I said, there's two pounds. And he said, the thing is, I sort of want to keep it. <laughs> and I went, okay, no problems. You don't want to sell it? No problems. And I slid my two pounds across the Burger King table. And he went, oh, it's just I want to sell it. I said, well, make up your mind. And I slid the two pounds back to him. He said, but the thing is, I kind of want to keep it. I said, oh, now, come on. And I took the two pound back. He said, the thing is, I want to take the money but keep the magazine I said now geez, that sounds like begging to me and it isn't that right uh, and then he fucked off but so in a similar way this person wants to have the thing and keep the money and as a result he's no worse than that dude in Burger King uh, by which I mean the tramp not me so because 
if he'd have just come up and said, "Will you buy me a burger?" Oh, I would have bought him a burger. Been, been, yeah. And sure. by the way, I thought to myself, I should it have was bought the, that. It was the scam. It was the subterfuge. Mm. It was the shenanigans. Everybody, just ask for what you want, people. You Don't always get, get what you a want. Yes or a no. No, I would have bought him a burger. We could have sat and chat about his life. Yeah. Thanks for watching this highlight from Don't Get Me Started, the ranty banty comedy show. Join in on our live show every week at twitch.tv slash DGMS live and hit that subscribe button for more clips and bits from DGMS.